everybody. I got a takeaway tip for you today. Uh, first of all, one of the most important moves in the golf swing, uh, if you do not take the club back properly, it's going to set you up for making a bad golf swing. So one of the main things that I want to talk about is that initial move away from the golf ball. So many people tend to take the club inside or take it too much outside or pick it up too quick. Um, if that's or if you think that's something that you're doing, this tip's really going to help you. So what I want you to imagine, I have this bag back here. Uh, I tell people a lot that I want you to imagine you're in a batter's box and the catcher's back there. Okay, you're getting ready to hit, catcher's back behind you. What I want you to do is put this club into, or drag it back into the catcher's mitt. Okay, so if you could do that, get that club traveling out toward that catcher's mitt, or this uh, yellow bag, you're going to be setting yourself up to take the club back on plane. Now, if you take the club back and you go in here, obviously that is not into the catcher's mitt. So that first initial move is out toward that glove. And, and as you can see, it may feel like you're taking the club outside, but you're not. This is a target line. You take it back like that, that club is way inside the target line. So you're not taking it out like that. So once you're here, that's going to set you up to get it back into a halfway back position that is good, and then getting it up into a good position at the, at the three quarter position, keeping you on plane. So that first initial move is huge. If you take it back too much inside or too much outside, it's just going to be really difficult to recover. So uh, try that out. It's probably going to be different for you. But like I said, just imagine you're putting it back into the catcher's glove and uh, it'll really help with getting you on